God bless you, beloved. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God, our Father, His Son, Jesus, the Lord Christ, our Savior and soon coming King, and Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, He who has aided us and assisted us in all ways, all ways during this para-pandemic time. I pray this message finds you well, staying healthy and observing practices that keep us all safe now that the world has reopened. The saints are re-entering and the church is relaunching. I am PSAJ and it gives me great joy and honor to come to you in all virtual projects and platforms and yes, the Academy at large to give you the 2023 beginning of year communication, the 2023 Convener's Communique to make the vision plain and clear for us to all grab it and run with it for the upcoming 2023 calendar year of endeavors and events. Much has transpired since we all began this journey together in 2020, and we believe that the Lord has been with us. It is truly necessary to lay out what God is saying in my heart as we have in years past, in light of this year's challenges, but in light of 2023's potential and possibility. It was said, I'm sure you remember in 2020, the kingdom declared it was the year of vision, most playing on the 2020 vision pun. However, when I came out of prayer, I told the Academy, it would be the year that we see, the year of hindsight, insight, and foresight. I believe that through and because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw much more than we anticipated. I know it was indeed the year of illumination. We again went into prayer at the end of 2020, anticipating a prosperous 2021, having had a successful 2020 year, our first year of operation in spite of the pandemic. And we became as one believing that 2021 would be a blessed, and prosperous year. And after we came out of prayer and consecration as an academy, we came out knowing that it was going to be the year of revelation. Watch this, 2020, the year of illumination, the year that we see hindsight, insight, and foresight. Moving into 2021, the year of revelation, God would begin to show us and reveal to us all that had been illuminated and what it really meant. We were guided by four spiritual directives that came to us through God's uh, revelation. Pivot, doing things differently, ministering to the masses, and passion pursuit. Pivot, we understood that we were gonna have to do things a little bit differently. We we're gonna have to pivot from what we were accustomed to. We we're gonna have to pivot from what we were comfortable. We we're gonna have to pivot from what we knew as the church and how it operated to then doing things differently, taking a different approach, using different tools, now using technology and the internet, perhaps as many of us had never done before. Ministering to the masses now because of technology and the internet. And every time we went to minister, we had to understand we were not only ministering to our local congregations, but literally ministering to our locale, the seven cities, our, our, our state, our region, our country, the nation, even, yea, the world. And even though we had been inundated with so much trauma and tragedy, illness, ailment, death, disease, and disease, God was still calling us to passioned pursuit, to still pursue passionately the things of God that we might be conquerors in the earth, not only for our individual lives, but calling us the kingdom to evangelize still the world passionately and not become complacent or overwhelmed by our present reality. As we embarked on now 2022, a time of prayer once again, we believe God was saying as we moved from the year of illumination 2020, the year of revelation year 2021, year of 2022 was going to be the year of reparation, the year of repair and return. We endeavored to repair individually and collectively as we returned to in-person engagement. Now we've been in prayer, both 
the end of year prayer conference and the beginning of year prayer conference, which many of you from around the country were involved, led by the intercessors in component five. What a blessed time we had, a time of consecration that uh, we took upon ourselves in the academy January 1st through 31st, the first 31 days of the year where we gave up two areas to fast that we could share with one another and two areas that was that were between us and God, symbolizing 2022, giving up two areas we could share, two areas only between us and God. That we came out of this time of prayer and consecration, believing that 2023, that God is saying that it will be the year of reconstruction. Will you say that with me? The year of reconstruction. We will concentrate on rebuilding, rebuilding our individual lives, rebuilding the academy, rebuilding churches, rebuilding ministries, rebuilding communities. Although it may seem a daunting task, I'm telling you that we are up for the task because we have been built for this. We have been trained for this. We have been prepped for this. We have been prepared for this. Oh yes, 2020, 2021. 2022, God was prepping us for this time. In fact, his word echoed that greater works shall he even do in my name. He showed me in 2023 that the first number and the third number, two, agreement. We must agree to walk together, to follow the vision and leadership of Holy Spirit as we, the persons in the academy and those participating, are going to, with our daily lives, move forward in God's will. There must be accountability. There must be teamwork. For how can two walk together lest they agree? Amos 3 and 3. Zero, representing the foundation and the starting point for all that we do. The four principles and standards set by our guiding documents will keep us grounded as we seek to carry out the mission of this organization. Three, the number of the Trinity divinity, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, symbolizing the presence of God in all that we do, putting him first in our ministry and in our marketplace lives. Because he is Lord of our lives, he will lead us into completion of reconstruction. Completion, seven, two plus zero plus two plus three, 2023 equals seven. I declare this time unto you and to all that will hear this communique, the year of reconstruction, the year of healing, closure, and completion. 2023, the year of reconstruction, the healing, the closure, and the completion that we all need. Wounds will be healed. Bodies will be made whole. We'll bring about change and advancement in the body of, cl a body of Christ by closing old chapters. Lastly, we will possess the promise through completion. We will finish what we start this year. To God be the glory. I challenge all of you on the sound of my voice, beloved, to grab hold of this prophetic utterance, this vision, not only for us, but for you as well, that we might run with it, that we all might obtain not only the blessings of 2023, but the supernatural favor of God. We declare this year, miracles, signs, and wonders. The year of reconstruction, 2023. Healing, closure, completion. From my heart to yours, PSHA, grace. <laughs>